I would like to test out the acid rounds. The problem is we're going to have to expend all of our explosive rounds we currently have loaded first. Okay. Well, at least we know it kills him in two hits. Come on, one more. Yeah, blew his arms off. I'll put some bullets in the back room, use them in case of trouble with Barry. Yeah, this time Barry gives us the ammunition, so it kind of makes Wesker seem more sinister. Ah, acid rounds. I wanted to pick up the acid rounds, damn it. Oh well. Dump you and you and you and you. I think we'll swap these for the acid rounds and see how they do. This bazooka is just going to be for clearing a hut, does I think. Let's just combine all our shotgun shells. Then we can be on our way. Nothing else that way. Let's check up here. So I think we have less shells overall than we do from last time. Still an incredibly healthy amount though at uh, 59, including the ones loaded. Right. Um, we won't take the first aid spray. Okay, let's make our way around, killing hunters as we go. This will be kind of our revenge run for Chris. Right, I think this arcs, so... Okay. I'm definitely liking the explosive runs anyway. Just open this door right here. I don't know whether I want to use the bazooka on Yawn. I don't think we should. So let's go and gather everything else in the mansion we can first, and then go and fight Yawn. Now what's the best way to go? I'd say back down and around. Apart from it being a little bit quicker going across the top, there's really not much difference. I wonder how these acid rounds are going to fare against the hunters. I'm hoping it'll still be a two hit kill. I'm sure a hunter runs out around here. Like right here. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, 
Oops. I panicked there and shot three. Yeah, is that painful, bitch? I hope it was. Okay, so I'm really warming up to the bazooka. It is awesome. Being able to kill 102 shots is just gold. And the spiders. Those normal spiders have never given me trouble. It's just the King Tiger. Yeah, that's the name of the big one in the tunnels. And you know how much trouble he gave me last time. I bet if we had flame rounds for this, it would die super easy. Now I guess we go up. Um, now I'm pretty sure there's hunters through this door. We'll see. Are there some this way? Yeah, there's one there. Right, okay, we'll kill that one. Holy shit, that killed it in one shot. Acid rounds are my best friend. Seriously, that's impressive. I don't think even the Colt Python can manage to kill him in one shot. Numeric key pan, you don't know the pass number. Oh well, we can get rid of this now. the magnum rounds, grab the shotgun shells. Ah, you know how this old puzzle goes. Grab the eyeball and get the jewel. Now I know there's a lot of hunters downstairs. But this is the area where I think we can just run past them. The first bunch, anyway. Oh, it's just one. 
Well, that was nice and easy. But I'm pretty sure there were two in this room. Where's the first one? Is it just one who runs out from here? <laughs> Suck on that. Grab ourselves a magnum. Oh, there it is. Jill has got quite the arsenal going on. I think we'll take a full bazooka full of acid rounds just for emergencies. Now where do, you, where do we come out if we go through here? Ah, oh, we come out in that corridor, don't we? That's what I was afraid of. Oh well, screw you. Now we need to go back to the... Now we just need to fight Yawn, don't we? I wonder if we should use the Magnum on Yawn. I mean, look how many rounds we had spare last time. We'll take the dangerous way back this time. Feeling pretty confident. With this acid spewing dealer of death. Oh, you son of a bitch. That. Not nice being covered in acid, is it? All my save states, by the way, are just covering up for the abuse we had at the hands of these hunters last time. stop at the save room. I will keep the Magnum for Tyrant again, I guess, but we will use the grenade launcher. Or the bazooka, same thing. Shotgun. With all my shells, where are they? That should do us. I think I should try using the bazooka at the start of the fight. I'm guessing it could finish off Yawn pretty quickly. Yeah, let's try that. If you never try, you'll never know. I've never tried the bazooka on Yawn. 
I've never tried the bazooka on any boss. If I can't run past the King Tiger again though, I will be using it on him. Well, so far we are on track to get the best ending. After we do this bit, all we've got to do is uh, go to the caves, and that's it. Yep, here we go. Yawn's back and he's pissed. I shot him in the second round, went straight through him. I did not take that. I don't mind using one full heal on any boss fight. Now see what's down here this time. It's too dark to see anything. Oh, Barry. Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh, hey, Barry. What's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? Now trust me, to get the best end on this, you need to wait for Barry to get another rope. So we will do just that. Ensue awkward silence number one. Well, there might have been a few of them already. But Barry will come back. Oh, is that him already? Hey! Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! Just imagine if he dropped that rope as well. I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. <laughs> no, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. Ooh. Ah. Thank you. I'll take this then. Now, isn't that interesting? Well, I was going to go down there, but I really want to use this passcode. Even though it's on the other side of the mansion, it's a good thing we cleared it out. I don't think we'll need to fill up on any acid rounds. Right. 
great. Oh, we are rapidly approaching the end of the game again. I will say that with the jail has been a much smoother and a much more enjoyable ride. If any of you are choosing which one to do for the first time if you're playing Resident Evil, I'd recommend Jill first. You can always do Chris the next time. Let's see where this door brings us out. I think this door will actually bring us out right next to the storeroom of the battery. Oh. Oh, you son of a... Oh no no no, I'm not having that. You cheeky bastard. Oh hello. The nerve of that guy, grabbing Jill Valentine by the boot. Well, I said it would bring us out, Boo, and I was close enough. Turn around, you big... Lots of explosive rounds, eh? Well, I guess they can come in handy. Just need to make sure we keep enough room for the ammo disc and the magnum rounds. We should have plenty of room, though. We're only going to get the ammo disc, we're not going to bother exploring around here too much. There's no need. Um. Yeah, I'm sure this brings us right to it. This should be the library if I remember correctly. Yeah, here we go. Right. Well, our passcode was certainly convenient, wasn't it? Ah, here we go. I wonder if we actually need to push that switch to trigger this. I don't think we do. This is probably just highlighting where it should go. Elaborate little study. There's the first MO disc of three. A 
we'll just go and check over the heliport. Now, which way do we push this? Or should we push it this way? I wonder why they'd bother covering that up with a bookcase. Yes, you can look over the courtyard and there's the heliport. Ah, oh, we don't want the ink ribbons. Uh, we don't want the clip either. Just grab the magnum rounds from the drawer in here and we'll get going. Oh wait, no, if we go down a bit to the kitchen, there's a shortcut back upstairs. And we come out right by the... Uh, we come out closer to the gardens if we do that. And I completely forgot about the bloody... Magnum rounds. We're gonna have to go back in here. I'm going to kill you in frustration. That makes you feel slightly better. Yes, we will. That's what I wanted to see. down and lift. And we'll come out in the kitchen, I believe. Missed this music. No, I'm not sure if we can actually get past this guy without. Oh no, look at that. What the hell, he's still alive. You're not telling me you took three shells. Oh well, what else are we going to use the shells on? Oh, it's this bit again, isn't it? I think this is actually only the second zombie in the game that can open doors. Again, very anticlimactic considering the entrance you gave yourself there. Eh? There's no more zombies, we better equip this just in case. The hunter in front of us will kill us. How much damage did we take from that? That green fine. So basically, bugger all. Is but a scratch. Definitely be keeping the bazooka with us through the caves. Caves, tunnels, whatever you want to call it. 
this is the last time we'll be seeing any of the mansion. Hopefully, not like last time. We all know what happened last time. And we'll find out if I was telling the truth about fixing the blurry textures, or whether I was just talking out of my arse. Hopefully it's the former, not the latter. Lucky those spiders aren't already on the floor, otherwise it could cause quite a few problems. No more surprise hunter attacks. No. That's what I like to see. Um, not quite the inventory I would like to look at. Besides, we need to get the crank and stuff first. Otherwise, we're not going anywhere. At least we know the acid rounds and stuff are pretty good against the bosses. It only took, what, three, four acid rounds to defeat Yawn? Put the shotgun away. Uh, take out those magnum rounds from now. Get the eagle medal. Dump that. Where's the good old crank? Uh, we have more acid rounds, but I think we're going to keep them. Seems they are quite powerful. Dump those. Um, we don't need this eagle medal just yet. Probably better to be safe than sorry. And get this green herb. Get the red herb. We'll combine them, then dump this first aid spray in the box. Because we're going to keep a full heal on us this time, because that's the smart thing to do. Yep, that's everything. Without further ado, let's go. The hunter in the passage to the garden door isn't going to surprise us this time either. <laughs> 